Hi guys, it's me, Yubi Programmer, and today I will be discussing about a project uh, which can detect about the heart disease. Right. So let's just run our app and see what we have built. So this is the Flask app, and we have started the our server, and this is the, like simple UI uh, for the app and it's asking uh, about some parameters about your health and then it will predict whether you are a heart patient or not right with the help of obviously machine learning algorithms so let's just uh, give some input uh, and for this project i want uh, like you to know that domain knowledge uh, plays an important role right you have to know like uh, serum cholesterol and uh, resting blood pressure or whatever the other parameters of health are right and uh, you have to like uh, have the information about them in order to like uh, do feature engineering and other stuff so uh, i just uh, googled them about uh, them a bit and got a like uh, mandatory knowledge and let's just uh, give some parameters like male and zero right, and blood pressure okay so I really don't have like much idea about these values but uh, for the sake of our deployment of this machine learning project I just uh, like googled them about a bit right uh, but you are uh, yeah so you are not a heart patient and if the values you like you adjust it uh, according to a uh, heart patient or like abnormal uh, values so you will get like you are a heart patient right and let's just see the code and see uh, let me just open notebook where I have exported a model right and do the uh, training part so importing libraries and this is the data set hardware CV uh, I'll be giving a link in the description or you can always contact me through whatsapp right through whatsapp or mail me at this email right and this was the data set so you got age sex and uh, these other parameters like cholesterol and uh, some other thalassemia situation and other stuff like that right and uh, so i just uh, did some eda on this and then i just uh, uh, make my input and output variable by the indexing and then you know the train is separate and when i applied the logistic regression i got the accuracy about uh, 85 percent right so uh, this was like good enough for me for the deployment purpose and like for, as a practice project uh, so i just imported that model and you can try other models as well right uh, to improve the accuracy or you can just ask me to do it right do it for you and then we are just uh, printing the uh, result right and let's just see how we deployed it right uh, so we are getting these values uh, and storing these uh, the uh, values in the uh, variables from our website right from this part right so whatever the user will enter uh, here will be stored in these variables and then we are just giving this as the input data and then uh, you know uh, the input data has to be converted into numpy array in order to be faded into the model right which we have imported here pickle.load right and then we are just if prediction uh, is equal to zero then uh, obviously not a heart patient because target variable zero represent not a heart patient and else result is equal to a heart patient and then we are just concatenating uh, the string 
with the template where we are just showing this ur and then result and result is what i have already shown you that result is this string right so this was the project and this was the like uh, the pipeline which i just made here uh, while predicting system right and this was the project uh, through which you can like uh, enter uh, health parameters and check whether the person is a heart patient or not and predict it right so you can uh, get this source code by contacting me or maybe mail me at this email or uh, do the whatsapp and check out the description to get the source code right thank you